in a good mood today. It's Friday, the weather is beautiful, and yet there are people after me on Twitter trying to harsh my buzz. Boo, you stink at your job, man. You Barry Secret Squirrel's the only good thing about the show. <laughs> not everything they're saying on Twitter. It's not a totally accurate representation. But the fact of the matter is, is there are definitely people being mean to me today because yesterday I said on this very television program that I was big on Devin Funches for Thursday night. Carson Wentz in the Eagles passing game. But did I really say that? Like, if you watched any of the baseball game last night, you know how important video replay is. And it's the same on this show. Cat, roll the tape. There are several players I like tonight, especially on Carolina's side of the ball. Cam Newton, Devin Funches, Kelvin Benjamin. I like all of them this week against Philadelphia. And you know what? While I love Carson Wentz as the future in Philadelphia, I don't immediately like his fantasy future, meaning his future tonight in Carolina. Okay, so you see that. But now if you slow it down... You should bench Devin Funches and start Carson Wentz. See? Totally nailed it. Thank you, Video Replay and my production assistants. All right. The assistance of technology aside, look, I am still bullish on Funches going forward. Yes, only three for 36. But he was targeted eight times. Cam Newton simply wasn't accurate throwing the ball last night. Funches has now been targeted 35 times in the last four weeks. That's 40% more targets than Kelvin Benjamin over that same time frame. I believe in him. Keep him in your lineup. Another receiver, it's clear you should now move from your free agent wire or your bench into your lineup. Nelson Aguilar. His week one performance of 86 yards and a score seemed like a fluke. It was kind of a broken play. And so did his week five game with 93 yards and a touchdown. It was mostly one big play. But after another touchdown catch last night, they're really using Aguilar's after the catch speed, which is what he was known for out of the draft. He now has 15 or more fantasy points in three of his six games this season. That is legit, semi-consistent production. He clearly has chemistry with Carson Wentz. Aguilar, again, available more than 60% of leagues, is a flex option going forward for me. And finally, Carson Wentz. Look, you guys know I hyped him all preseason. I admit, I was wrong about him last night. But what he did on a short week in Carolina, less than halfway through his second NFL season, he is now a must-start week in, week out, set it and forget it, QB1 in fantasy. Now, Twitter. Please stop yelling at me. Never, stupid idiot!